Hello and welcome to the PicoVoice Leopard and Cheetah speech-to-text tutorial. Leopard and Cheetah are speech-to-text engines that can be customized to recognize custom vocabulary, such as medical jargon or items on a menu, and also boost the probability of certain words being detected, if you know that those words will be frequently occurring. To get started, we need to create a model. Give it a name, and select the language that you want it to be in. We'll go with English. Then click Create Model. To add custom vocabulary, simply type in the word that you want to add and hit Enter. That's all we need to do to add our word, but we should also test it to see how it performs. Pico Coffee. You can see that it correctly shows up in the transcript. Now I'll just demonstrate what would have happened if we didn't add this to our custom vocabulary. Pico Coffee. You can see that it's still close, but it's not the exact word that we wanted. We can also test using an audio file, which helps maintain consistency between tests. With our custom vocabulary, we can go one step further. If you click on this arrow to the left, you can see the pronunciations in IPA format. We can edit these, add, and remove pronunciations. Most of the time though, you probably won't need to do this. Now with boost words, it's the same idea. Just type in the word that you want to boost and hit enter. Now there's going to be a higher chance that Pico Coffee is detected. Note that you can boost any existing word or phrase. Like if you expect thank you to be a frequently occurring phrase, you can boost that too. When you're happy with how the model works, click on this blue download icon in the corner. By default, the model downloaded will be for Leopard, but if you're looking for a real-time speech to text, then select Cheetah instead. We'll leave it as Leopard. Next, click download. In a few seconds, you'll see a zip folder in your downloads containing the file for the model that we just created. This is the file you'll eventually reference in your code in order to use this custom model. For instructions on how to do that, follow one of these suggested links to the relevant docs. So for example, if you're building for web, then click web, and follow the instructions here on how to use this file in your code. You can also find the quick start guides for the other available SDKs all on this left sidebar. Coming back to the editor, we'll go over two helpful features that can help you with your workflow. The first one is snapshots. Snapshots allow you to save the current state of your model. Say you like the current state of your model and everything works well, but you want to experiment with some changes. You can create a snapshot, then keep working and making changes while being able to revert to the snapshot anytime. Let's go through an example. Say we want to save this current state of our model. We'll find the create snapshot icon and click Save Snapshot. Now say we want to see if editing some pronunciations improves our model. Let's see if that helps. Pico Coffee. Obviously it didn't. It now cannot recognize Pico Coffee as our word. So we want to revert that change. Because we created that snapshot earlier, we can click the View Snapshots icon and load the snapshot that we saved. Note that our current progress will be overwritten if you make any edits to the snapshot. Now we can see that our original pronunciation is back. The toolbar also shows that we are currently viewing this snapshot. If you now want to revert again to the previous state, click on Head. For such a small change, you probably don't need snapshots, but hopefully you can see how snapshots can be really helpful when you're working with much bigger context and making bigger, less manageable changes. Another useful feature is working directly with YAML. 
when we're adding custom vocabulary and boost words and editing pronunciations, under the hood, we're really just editing a YAML file. So if you prefer to work with a file instead of using the console, you can simply export the YAML file here. and edit the YAML file directly, like deleting all the boost words. And import it back in when you're ready to test and download. And as you can see, all of our boost words are gone. That's it for this tutorial. If you have any questions or comments, please leave a comment below or visit our GitHub linked in the description. Otherwise, thanks for watching and happy building.